One of the most important questions asked by non-Muslims is, why does Islam make hijab mandatory for women? Now, Islam has introduced hijab as an honor and a precious gift from God. It is considered as part of the decency and modesty in interaction between members of the opposite sex. Hijab is not just for women, but it is, but it is mandatory for men too. As God says, say to the men believers to cast down their looks and to guard their private parts, that is decent for them. Indeed, God is aware of what they do. Quran chapter 24 verse 30 Now hijab has three main features. Number one, hijab protects both women and men from evil intentions. Number two, it contributes to the stability and the preservation of marriage and the family by eliminating the opportunities for extramarital affairs. And number three, hijab compels men to focus on the real personality of the woman and de-emphasizes her physical beauty. To learn more about the pure Islam, please visit our website, findtruth.co.uk. Feminists and the Western media often portray the hijab as a symbol of oppression and slavery for women. While they are subconsciously reacting to the Judeo-Christian concept of the veil. To look at one's own religious or cultural history and then to pass a judgment against another religion is an intellectual miscalculation. It would surprise intellectuals that the society which shows tolerance towards those who would like to go around topless, yet this same society finds it difficult to tolerate a lady who by her own choice wants to observe hijab. Indeed, hijab is not a symbol of oppression. Neither does the hijab prevent a woman from acquiring knowledge or from contributing to the betterment of human society. Historically, women have also greatly contributed to Islam. Lady Khadija, the first wife of the Prophet, played a significant role in the early history of Islam. A successful businesswoman in her own right, she was the first person to accept the message of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him and his holy progeny. Her acceptance and faith were a great source of emotional support for the Prophet. The first Muslim person to be martyred in Muslim history was a woman by the name of Sumeya, the wife of Yasir and the mother of Amar. She was killed along with her husband for refusing to renounce Islam. Lady Fatima, the daughter of Prophet Muhammad, was a beacon of light and a source of guidance and knowledge for women in social and political affairs. We ask those who are against the concept of hijab, when you see a nun dressed in a habit, what do you think of that? Is that a symbol of oppression or a dress that demands dignity and respect? The habit of a nun is a complete hijab. Why then the double standard? The Almighty God says, O Prophet, tell your wives, your daughters and the believing women to draw their veils closely over themselves when going out. That makes it likely for them to be recognized and not be troubled. And Allah is all forgiving, the most merciful. Quran chapter 33 verse 59. To learn more about the pure Islam, please visit our website findtruth.co.uk.